We're gonna be playing cards today. One eye jacks are wild. Guys, guys, is this game working? Guys, guys, I have an idea. Yeah? Wrong, another man. idea. Are, are yeah. you okay? It's another triangle. What? Yeah. No, those are Can bananas. You stop it those with are the bananas. Triangles? No, no, no. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. You're there's, a monkey and those are bananas. There's three parts to this. I wrote them on bananas, I didn't have much time. I see. There's flow chart, banana. There's a mixer, banana. And there's this owner, banana. And this makes a triangle. So hear me out, hear me out. And it makes a circle, but cool. I, I think he's going mad. Yeah. He's so cool. we're going to be talking about today, guys. <laughs> so besides going blind from Brax's glasses. Or mad. Or mad. I do have another triangle. So we remember the first triangle, just a quick review session of Bang's lessons. We have the patience, the reader, and last but not least, the pusher. Now we have three more. And if you can think about it like this, this is the original triangle, and they all counter each other in different ways. Now this one now reverses it and is basically the inverse of basically everything we did before. So now you have the in-between of a pusher and a reader, and that's the flow chart, the first one I showed you. And then you have in-between the pusher and the patient, and that's the zoner. And then you have, last but not least, the difference between the pusher, or the uh, patient and the reader, which is the mixer. So. I, I was really confused last time we were doing this because I could place us three, but I couldn't place Fabian, and I was kind of weirded out about it. And I was like, "Well, did you sleep? Did you get sleep already? I haven't or? slept this whole time. <laughs> so you want to get some bananas? Yeah, I grabbed some here bananas. We are. I, I, you know, I thought this would be a so, nice little visual. Zoner is that? Wait, that's in between. That's a pusher and a patient. So because I was like, how could you be? I was thinking like a, a Sam Fish or a Fabian, you know, some link mains and some some Maybe like spacers. Some. Yes, and I was like, how can you be both patient, which means you don't necessarily press the neutral, yeah. but you're pushing a lot of buttons in the sense that you're kind of forcing the other person to create um, aggressive options because you're throwing things at them. Because if, if you remember, the patient punishes aggressive options. Yes. And the pusher is a pusher. And the reader punishes defensive options. So if you're throwing out a bunch of projectiles like Fabian likes to do, and then somebody's trying to approach, you're going to punish them based on their aggressive, bad um, option in neutral. So that's where the zoner comes in. Because I was like, there has to be something in between that makes sense. So that's that one. The mixer is the patient, and this is probably the hardest one to explain, is the difference between the pusher and the reader. So you're good at punishing both. But you're not necessarily good at pushing buttons. So this is kind of like your old man. Kind of like the person that's not doing a whole lot, but can read and assess a situation and like calculate the best outcome. Like H box. No. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Well, yeah, um, he's pretty slow considering. Well, yeah, but I game. think you could fit top players into any of these categories. But when you really like try to narrow somebody down, it's kind of like that's what that guy is, right? Yes. So earlier, the the patient, the patient uh, countered a pusher, right? Yes. So now this is kind of the inverse where like a zoner and a mixer, like what is their necessary matchup? And that's why like a zoner against a patient person, you don't like, it could go either way because if that's like halfway between a pusher and a patient, it's like the, this is going to get really confusing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm already confused. <laughs> I get it. I the patient can counter the pusher side, but because he's also patient, he's coming from the same type of place. So it's like if you're... A patient pusher. A patient pusher. Yes. Then you can understand how to punish... This is like... How to punish pusher buttons. Pusher play. Yeah, because <laughs> these are the guys that like uh, know their combos pretty good. But they're like... If you hit their shield and they get a grab, these are the guys that are going to mess you up yeah. pretty bad. What? <laughs> so, like... If you're a zoner, then you know how to punish pushers because of your patient side. But then your pusher but side you're pushing can push you're readers. Throwing stuff. Yes. So now you kind of work into that thing where you can start to counter a reader. Because then you're forcing them with all your projectiles to throw out both defensive and offensive options. So Yeah, usually when people throw out offensive options, I feel like that's where the zoner is the best. Because it's like, now it's like, well now you've messed up in front of my shield. So, and this is actually what I wanted you to do. So what does the zoner lose to again? So the zoner loses to a mixer. A mixer and the mixer is in between <laughs> a patient and a reader. Yeah, I wouldn't say don't patient focus pusher. don't focus on who beats who the with mixer? this triangle. No, 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 no. The mixer is not a patient pusher. 
No, no, no. Sorry, I See? meant he's a reader patient. Okay, you had it. This so what's what's the what's pressure. what's the flow chart? So that's the one I was gonna get to, and Read. this is the one that I feel like is kind of the black sheep because I feel like in ultimate this is like the one you probably want to go towards the most. I think the mixer was best in Smash Four and still is like a lot at these are bananas. Still yeah. used a lot at top play, but the flow chart now that's a pusher reader. So now that's somebody who does the same thing. So they have their pusher mentality if they're going to keep pressing the buttons. But then they can adapt now at this point. So it's not just someone that's pushing their face up yeah, against the no. controller. To, to me, I think the uh, one of the better uh, top players is like Propane, uh, the Lucina. He's throwing out these things, you know? He's pushing in a way, but like, he's like, oh, uh, I'm a flow chart because you know what Lucina's going to do by fair. But then he, uh, he creates these scenarios where he's always at an advantage. Yeah. And when you do that, what do you force? Defensive, defensive options. options. So then when you force a defensive option as a flow chart, which you should already have those mapped out because it's a chart. Mm -hmm. So when you're like, okay, what's a good character? M Mario. Like, okay, if he keeps air dodging out of my combos, I'm going to dunk him next time he does that. Yeah. But it's like this, the other guy's not even thinking that because he's like, I am so annoyed that he just keeps up bearing me on these platforms. Like, I need to get out of this. Here's my defensive option. Well, so, like, that's not a flow chart thing. I think the Mario thing is a mixer. Because he's mixing it up. Don't, but characters aren't necessarily anything. No, no, I'm just saying that scenario you were saying. What I'm saying a flow chart is, is a flow chart is something that you visually see, like like the Lucina player I'm talking about. Like he's constantly throwing out these fairs. Well, Mario can be the flow chart too. Yeah, but yeah, 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 no, it's not a character thing. I'm just saying like uh, this guy, uh, the pro uh, pro paint, like his play style literally fits that uh, flow chart. I feel like uh, most out of a lot of players. Uh, like I said, he's whiffing these things that look like a flow chart. But it's not like necessarily a bad thing because people say, oh, this guy's a flowchart and they just assume it's a bad player. Mm -hmm. But like it's not necessarily a bad player if you play a flowchart good. And I feel like he's one of the players that like, oh, like he looks like a flowchart because you know what Lucina's going to do. Yes. You know? But he, um, he'll force you to do the options. And then like, it's kind of like um, conditioning in a way. Like it throws out a move and you're like, oh, well, he threw that out. Like, no, because it's a flowchart. He knows what he's doing. He knows the exact distance where it's going to be safe. So it's a flow chart, but it's not a bad option. Yeah, because like the pushers are the ones in the labs, right? Yeah. So this is almost like your level two. I don't want people to focus on what counters what at this level for the most part. Because like patience does beat like a pusher, right? But then this is like the in-betweens. So now it's not like your peer pusher or your peer patient player. I now it's somebody who dude. can kind of adapt and work through it. But yeah, these, these, are, these are play styles. These ain't like counter plays. Okay, these so, are play styles. So you're saying this is a triangle. Yes. But this is a triangle within a triangle. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Is like, it's kind of like the inverse because this is like the halfway point between a pusher and a... So this is for better reader. players. It's like mm -hmm. a high... In a way. Triangle. In a way, it in is. In a way. In because... A way. Well, think about the original triangle being a one option thing. This is a two option thing. Okay. Because you're like... Now you're getting options from here and here because it's in between the other thing. Yeah. So you're getting actually... That's why I'm saying it's a, yeah. it's a triangle for better players. Yeah, I feel like it's the next step. So kind of. Kinda. It's kind of like a level two, but like if you could be a pure reader and just be like the best reader you can be without like much patience or much like pusherness, it still can be a good thing because I feel like I'm pretty heavy patience and that's like carried me, but now I'm trying to like work more towards this one. Yeah. This it's like people kind of have to like... Not it's not working towards one. It's just getting in the middle of something and having like two play styles where you can like swap it like that. So like honestly, we could to a point where I say don't necessarily focus on characters, but I think characters force you to these. Yeah, like you're not so, gonna like, be a zoner Mario. You can't yeah, do that. Yeah, and I can't like you could be you know, maybe you could be anything that you want. I'm just saying if you go attempt to play zoner Mario, you're gonna lose. Yeah, I mean your fireballs like you're not gonna go that far. But that also is like, okay, if you like are going just 100% to patient, you, you can master your patience, but it's like, should Mario be played that patient? Mm -hmm. Probably not. So then like when you get into this mixer where you're like, okay, like Diddy Kong can be played like patient and calm with his banana and peanut gun. But then he can also get in your face and mix you up with like some nair combos, up air on your shield or like landing grabs and different things like that. So it's like Diddy Kong will probably be closer to the mixer than he is a patient person. So if I'm playing a patient Diddy, then I'm holding myself back because he should be more of a mixer. So yes. people expect the patient Diddy, but nobody, for the most part, expects a mixer Diddy. And that's yeah. where Diddy should be because characters excel at that. Like, I think... Well, in Smash 4, the patient Diddy combo was more effective. So Wario, was a slower game. Wario can be a mixer, too. Wario is a mixer. Just because of his chomp. 
Yeah. His chop alone is like, yeah, you're well, a mixer character. It's more than that, but he can mix up yeah. with Nair's upper... He, like, or is a good character. Yeah, Dude, Crossing of S.H.I.E.L.D. is a big mixer. You know, you know how attribute. people make those tier lists? We should do it... A, on the uh, triangle? Yeah, like, no, well, it's, a, it's a hexagon at this point. In there are way. six points. Well, no, it, 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 it would be like a... It's inverse. So well, yeah, yeah, it's an inverse, but then there's characters that... It'll be like a Dragon Ball Fighters tier list. Where it's all like, oh, uh, better as an assist, better as a character. So it starts kind of like pushing people like in Oh, different directions. okay. That's yeah. what it would be like. We should do that. Like, that does yeah. sound fun. Like, Shota's our flow chart? Uh, no. Shota. No, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. They're not a mixture. Dude, if a Terry, if a Terry jabs you, you They're more towards the pusher. It would be kind of It'd like, be a pusher flow chart. Have you seen those graphs <laughs> where it's like, uh, there's like the X different things that you little, can be on yeah. like mm-hmm. either side. So it's kind of like that in the triangle so, where he'd be like... He'd be flowchart, but he'd be a little bit more towards pusher than he would be towards reader. So before we go into, <laughs> I guess, maybe for another episode, if we actually chart this out, I think let's we just talk about some examples in the Colorado scene. So first of all, I am very impressed that people were even able to follow the first video, and I'd be more impressed that they're able to follow this one. But they were. Nobody necessarily asked me for advice, and I was like, they, they kind of got, got it. it. Yeah. They got it. And, like, it is confusing, but, like, like I said, just, like, rewatch it and, like, really think and, like, put your character, like, yourself on what you think you are the most. Plus, it's fun. And, um, so, I would say people in Colorado, she was a flow chart. Yeah, yeah. by far. So it's not a bad thing, but... No, it's is. not a bad thing. That's what I'm saying. It's not a bad thing. He's doing a, like, a zero suit excels in that, I feel. Yeah. It's a flow chart. I know zero suit's gonna nair, 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 nair. And, like, you know it's gonna happen, but it's not necessarily it's not a bad thing. I am a zone. No, you're not. <laughs> you wish you were a zoner. Let me think. Um, zoners, you got your Link Mains, you got your Sam Fish, you got your... Freddy? Mega Man? Yes. Yeah. But Mega Freddy... Man can be played in different styles. Yeah. I can see Freddy sometimes being a mixer, but I would say Mega Man, for the most part, is a zoner. But yeah. he's like a mid-range zoner. He's, he's an interesting character. Um, I feel like don't, he's... We don't have a lot of mixers. I, I, I would say Night Money is a mixer. I'm serious. It's like kind yeah, of like, like he, old he, man he does... thing. Uh, the tomahawks. I feel like a tomahawk is a big uh, thing for the mixer. Yeah. Like, if you're tomahawking, you're already kind of like leaning more towards that. Tomahawk. Yeah, and it's it's uh, it's, it's a not mix. necessarily. You know, you draw a move, yeah. you land, you jump, you land, you didn't do much, and then you grab. It's not. We do have some mixers, dude. I'm trying to think. I thought about King, but he's not a mixer. He's more of pure read. No, King. At least in this one, I feel, I would put King on the flow chart. I would put him on the flow chart too. He plays his character to uh, its strengths most of the time, like the characters he plays. So I feel like when you play your character heavily to its strengths, it's just a flow chart. Well, okay, so here's a fun fact for you guys. The flow chart right now on the PR is the top two on the PR. Smirk yes. two. They are both flow charts. What is Menace? So Menace is a, a zoner. No. Menace no, is Menace, a mixer. Yeah, Menace is a mixer zoner. Dude, is yeah. there a third triangle? No, <laughs> relax, relax. There <laughs> might be, but no. So, no, Menace is actually one of the few players I feel like he could actually be mm. categorized as a mixer. I think he goes back and forth between these two, like we kind of said Freddy yeah. was doing, but I think he I would say he's more zoner because of Sam. It, it, no, it depends who he's playing. But but no, like I see that guy mixing it up. Yeah, yes. it's a, and that to me is a mixer. No, 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 no. But remember what I said about zoner? Yeah. They force you to come in and do bad defensive habits. Yes. On their, sh- or, no, sorry. Bad aggressive options on them, and there's nobody really better than that, punishing that than Pink, and it's because he forces you in because he makes you feel like that's a that's a safe place to be. So he's kind of like a like a like a close Dude. range zoner in the sense that he forces you to be there, and then you realize how good Samus is close up now in this game. So it's different. So I would say he's a zoner, but he's a mixer. I would say once the you, mixer once you is get Chronos. I think Chronos is a mixer. What's this mm. other one? No, Chronos no. is not a mixer. Chronos is a flowchart. No. Guys, it's a flowchart. No. Yes. The, well, it's because there's no. there's certain things like, okay, again, I'll put, I put uh, Pink Menace and Sandfish at the same thing as being a zoner, right? But then there's a thing where like you can change it up, and that's where Sandfish never becomes a mixer, and Pink does become a mixer once you're close. Yeah. See, like, once you're close to Sam, Sam doesn't know what to do. But he's still a zoner. I know because no, but I, see, I know I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, it's, I, I see. A, that's what I'm a, saying. He bounces back and forth. So he's, he's a mixer zoner, but he's more of a zoner. Of course, yeah. but he's just still a mixer. Yeah. Well, that that's way. what I'm saying is everyone can be everything. Like when I played MK Leo, like literally he was everything. Yes. All at once, and I was like, which one is he gonna be now? And you're kind of guessing. It's like I don't know. Guessing. Yeah, but the only one that he really wasn't was a flow chart. Mm-hmm. You can be a flow chart with your combos, and that's something I noticed in this game is it needs to be like a, somebody made an example on Twitter, but. You hit, land one hit, that hit should go a mile. A mile. 
And that's what I'm saying with pushers and flow charts and being in the lab is you need to take every hit as far as you can take that's it. That's what Prodigy did with Leo, and that's how he yeah. beat him. Yeah. He took that one hit. There, there are certain characters that exceed more with that. Yes. Like Mario. But, yeah. like, that's just something you need to be. Um, mixer, I would say, I think Lenin could be a mixer. No. no. <laughs> it's no. a flow chart. It's a flow chart. No. Yes. I think Lenin's a flow chart. And that's why this guy beats him all the time. Yeah, it's he's pretty a easy to me. If, if, if he was a mixer, Fabian would never be. I feel like Suze is more of a mixer than... Yeah, like, I'm more of a mixer. Just, just like, because uh, they both play Mario. Yeah, like, I guess Jesus is the perfect example yeah. of a mixer. Think about because it. Because he's going to punish you for being aggressive Think and Think about defensive. it this way. Melo... Yeah, you are a mixer. Yeah. Melo does everything so efficiently with Mario. Like, sometimes I'm like, holy crap. You know, I've I seen him ladder in every stage. And I feel as well, like, flowchart. Like, I know what he's going to do, though. Like, for, for me, it's like, oh, just avoid here and here. And so I feel like... A flowchart loses to this. Yeah. That's yeah. why he loses to you. Yeah. Like I said, don't focus too much on that this time, but basically, because this is a patient pusher. And what is this? Reader pusher. And a reader counter is what? I forget. Patience. <laughs> Good job, Brax. Gold star. Gold banana. But, yeah, I mean, I feel like anything can beat anything in this triangle. Yeah, it can. Cause, yes. And that's where it comes we, full. We, we put so Mellow as a flowchart, but I also put Shu as a flowchart, who I can't deal with. And I can so deal with like Mellow more than him. So well, it's just, it's just wait, weird. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So then, what is Shu doing that's beating you? What is he becoming? I hate to say it, but like I feel like he's playing a better character. But no, that's not what's. Well, like it is a better character, but that's not why you're losing. It's because you have not figured this out. You haven't figured out the flow chart that, it, that people, he has. People can his, upgrade his, his flow chart. Yeah, his flow chart. Yeah. Yes, then, then, it's yeah. kind of like like a like a game where you yeah. can keep. I mean, like, I'm a, stuff. it's a problem. Where it's I'm like, a strong. Right, problem were, nine is gonna be easier than problem ten. I'm a strong it's still, it's still a, a if, formula. There's a formula. If you're a good player, if you uh, if you struggle with somebody, and then you beat them, but then you play them again and then they beat you, you haven't learned anything. And well, there's a one-trick pony. Yeah, here's kind of my thing. Is like a mixer is kind of like the night money where it is the old man, and they're kind of like the hippie when they're trying to be good, where it's kind of like like you kind of have to feel them out. You know what I mean? And that doesn't really make well, sense. A, until a you're mixer, like, yeah. a mixer's never gonna be a flowchart because they don't want to do that much. Yeah. Uh, movement i feel but let me finish this so like to get better they're kind of like you have to understand the opponent's habits yes a flow chart is like i'm going to upgrade my flow chart it's, it's pretty pretty inward like they see how their flow chart isn't working against other people and they're like i'm going to fix it so they're reinforcing their flow chart. yeah so a flow chart is a flow chart player is not going to be taking time to practice uh certain players uh matchup spread or anything they're just going to be like focusing on how to improve themselves and i feel a mixer kind of. or a zoner is going to be more of like I got to figure out the other guy more so I can punish their bad habits. And a zoner, how they get better. I think that's a good way to look at this now I'm thinking about it, is how they improve or adapt in situations. Because like, just because I say it's the mixer doesn't mean that's the best one at adapting per se. The zoner adapts by not letting people in. Why are people getting into my fortress and how do I stop that from happening? Well, what yeah. am I doing that either I need to get them out so I can zone better or yeah. I need to zone them to where they can't get in. I mean, I think that's a, yeah, that's a good one for a zoner because uh, when I was beginning competitive Smash, uh, <laughs> one of the things that made me better was focusing on like two things: how am I racking it up, and how are they killing me? Yeah, that's about it. I know how to kill. Anybody, I, I mean, everybody should know how to kill with their character. I feel you know if you're nasty, you're gonna back throw. If you're tuning, you're gonna bomb fair. I think people need to focus on those two things. It's like uh, how are they killing you? And how are you racking it up on them? We've been yeah. talking a lot. Brax, what do you have to say? I, I'm just listening. I, that's fine. Oh. So what is Brax? He's a pusher. I'm a pusher with maybe flowchart tendencies in the right situation, but that's more like down Well, shield. Well, like, like we can also talk about how they <laughs> can be bad, because I feel like flowcharts can be bad, too. Everything can, Everything can be yeah, bad. Like, so can a zoner. Like, Don't if you're just, think that you're good because you're one of these necessarily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can be a flowchart and still suck. And I feel like you can be a mixer and still suck. And, like, even zoners, like, I've seen some people zone. And sometimes when I get sloppy with my zoning, I, I suck, you know? Now, next thing I know, people are double jump bearing, back airing me for throwing out one thing. And it's all like, that's like a bad trait because you're not zoning uh, properly. Yeah. Last thought for me is I'm trying to get my Diddy to this and my Falco is becoming this. Yes. So like they're like I feel like with both these bananas you can like be something. For the record, he's holding up a flowchart banana and a mixer banana. Oh, just yeah, in case the camera can't, can't catch that, we're not sure. Probably not. I can get them closer. Put your glasses back on. I put my glasses on the camera and help them see. But I know that was confusing. But please let us know what you think you are. And just because there's three new things here doesn't mean yours has changed.
Yes. Always think about ways to improve. Don't just follow into one of those categories, I feel like. Yeah, try to be all three bananas somehow. <laughs> and sometimes be like Brax and just decide to listen. Because listening is pretty great. Down, um, Brax. Subscribe. But yeah, like, leave comments down below. Ask us questions. Um, we got more questions on the last video, and that sure, was good. That's nice. Thank you, sir. Um, but we'd love to answer them. Talk things through a bit more. Hit us up at the table neutral. Twitter down below. And yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.